In the next era of space exploration, humans won't just visit the Moon and Mars, they will live and work there. Inhabitants will depend upon life-sustaining resources, such as oxygen, water, food, shelter, but also critical to their success is communication. And we believe that the foundation for that will be laid by cellular networks. Starting with Intuitive Machines' second lunar mission, Nokia is working with NASA to build the first cellular network on the moon. But it's just the first step. When astronauts return to the lunar surface with Artemis III, their Axiom Space Next Generation spacesuits will be connected to a Nokia network. In future crewed missions, astronauts could descend deep into craters, venturing into moonscapes that were once off limits. Cellular networks will allow astronauts to communicate via voice and video across great distances. It also will include things like telemetry and health information about the astronauts themselves. This information is critical to the mission itself and the safety of the astronauts. As the complexity of these missions increase, astronauts will be able to use the network to remotely control machinery. Rovers will be able to operate autonomously and share video from their journeys. As missions continue to expand, robots will begin to build entire bases. They will perform all kinds of different tasks, things like landing pads, railroads, perform mining activities, tasks that are dangerous, mundane, and time-consuming for astronauts to do themselves. These fleets of machines will work collaboratively. They will need to communicate instantaneously and coordinate their actions in real time. All of this will require reliable, high bandwidth, low latency connectivity. Sensors such as video cameras will be everywhere, on robots, vehicles, astronaut suits, inside and outside of habitats. Sensors will collect a vast amount of information, operational, scientific, all of which will be shared across the cellular network. Beyond the moon lies Mars and a new set of challenges for cellular communications. Because the journey to Mars takes months, it's critical to have a network in place to support robots as they build the basic infrastructure necessary for humans to visit. When astronauts finally reach Mars, they'll spend years there and they'll want some semblance of the life they enjoyed on Earth. Cellular, along with other modern networking technologies such as Wi-Fi, free space optics, will create the end-to-end -end space networks that will provide astronauts with the internet, entertainment, social media, messaging. As humanity ventures further into our solar system, we will need the ability to communicate. And cellular networks can play a vital role in this future space exploration.